Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope everyone's doing okay. I don't know if you've seen the video in regards to the Aldi haul yet about my content on my phone. However, we are now 35, nearly 36 weeks pregnant and I kind of feel bad that I tried to show you what I eat in a day and yeah, it just didn't work out. So, I've got a coffee which I'll just show you now what I use. So, I use this decaf gold roast freeze dried coffee it was one pound 25 from aldi guys and it's probably one of the best decaf coffees i've tasted in a while and then i also picked up this on my travels i think it was from lidl and i think it was like 99p and it says it delivers the same sweetness it's from the stevia leaf and it tells you on the back here using half a teaspoon delivers the same sweetness and then if you look at the calories here apparently it's only eight grams eight, eight calories per tea, half a teaspoon and it's only two grams of sugar so i don't actually know if that was any good but if you are on a diet or looking to you know looking for something better you know that is a good alternative however i do also let me just i have recently sorted my cupboard out so I also have this. Now this is something called Sugarly and it's no sugars. It tastes just like sugar. I use this on my Weetabix sometimes. And you can make all sorts with it from sugared strawberries. I mean, my stepdad did try and make my mum a cake with it once by accident and that didn't turn out so great so i don't recommend doing that but if you like making cookies or something like that i suppose that could be like a good a good alternative to it but yeah so if anyone is interested in having sugar and going on a diet i do recommend them and then, so i'll just get these out so these are called JD Seasonings. Now, they do loads, but we're a fussy family, be honest with you. So obviously, you know, we all have fajitas. We have fajitas probably at least once a week, if not once every two weeks. We have, well, we don't really have donna kebabs, but apparently my mum says that this is amazing. Chips and wedgies, I do make my own one of them, and a burger blend. You don't have to use a lot because it, they do serve up to eight people, and then these ones serve up to four. But obviously with things like this, you can put the entire thing in and like sort of batch cook. But these aren't bad on the nutritious side, if you have a look there. I'm not gonna start naming everything. I think they are a bit pricey. You can't see that one, can you? Okay, that one I'm gonna have to read out. So it's 204 calories for your energy, four grams of fat, one gram of saturates, 38 carbohydrates with eight grams of sugar, 11 grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, and 37 grams of salt. Bloody hell, that's a lot of salt. And then this last one for the fajitas. But yeah, so if you are looking at alternatives, my mum was telling me something about these not being much sin wise or something on Slimming World. I've never understood Slimming World. I don't get it. My mum does. Like she knows I'll make rice puddings, breakfast things, and all sorts of slow cookers. And yeah, my mind just sort of goes blank when it comes to that. Please explain excuse the sat down the sides of here i mean yeah i think it's just a little bit on here i'll give that a wipe in a bit i have actually cleaned my kitchen not apart from the dishes on the side it yesterday so obviously i've just missed a couple of bits but you know don't come at me guys i am only human and i am very pregnant and i've had enough of being pregnant now but yeah so back to breakfast i've got my apple I've got a bagel and then I've got some of these pop outs. These were 125 for five bags from Aldi. They aren't bad on the whole calorie range. But yeah, I'll see you soon for dinner. Bye. So, guys, here's my dinner. Just got a small little sandwich, a banana, and some of these mini cheese bakes, basically mini cheddars. 
I've never had them before, but I thought I'd have a go. But yeah, and then I'm going to finish my Pepsi Max can that I've already got. So guys, if you're wondering where the snacks are and stuff, I'm either I'll snack all day kind of person or I'll have just my meals. I don't really snack in between. I might have like a late night snack or something, but it's very, very rare. Um, but yeah, I did also want to just include this little video of me cutting off lemons. Now, I have actually started to grab a bunch of lemons or limes or things like that. I'll cut them up into either slices or quarters and then I'll put them in a freeze locker bag and I'll leave them in the freezer. These are then a good way to use for summer drinks and things like that. So if you've got people coming round, you can just grab a handful out the freezer. It just make, makes life so much simpler because if someone comes around, you go, oh, would you like any lemon with that? Or And you don't have to go to the shop, get lemons that are already in. Please mind the outfit change. I am obviously heavy, heavily pregnant at this point and just wanted to be in my jammers. So, you know, no judging here. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you what one of my low calorie drinks would look like and it, it was very very yummy especially when the lemon starts to melt and mix in with the drink it's absolutely delicious and it also stays cool i did also want to show you this now scal has been asking me to make this with this since before christmas and obviously you know it seems like a long time away since then now obviously it is do you know what i mean however this was yeah months ago now <laughs> obviously i'm doing a late over voiceover however we spent quite a bit of time stuffing this grinch teddy sewing it up together and it was just a really nice way to bond and here is the finished outcome and skylar absolutely loved it just look at it <laughs> so guys last but not least this is that shawarma kebab meat that i showed you that was vegan and yeah, we had some Slimming World chips and a corn on the cob. Hope you did enjoy watching what I ate whilst pregnant. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.